Heavy Petting with Sherry Hardman. Today's guest is Leanne Jashaway. Hi, Leanne. Hi. Thank you for having me. Uh, it's good to see you. Who do you have here? This is Murray the dog, and Murray the dog is his full name. <laughs> oh, is it? Just in case people mistake him for, you know, <laughs> a hot dog. Else. Okay. Yeah, or a horse. I'm sure there's yeah. a horse named Murray somewhere. He's very cute. How old is he? He is six, and he's mostly wiener dog, but he's like half kangaroo. He can jump about four feet into the air. Wow, really? He's got some really long legs. You want to show your long legs? Oh, they're very long. Oh, yeah. He's a big boy. Yeah, he is. Uh, how much does he weigh, do you know? He weighs 15 and a half. Cool. Not only do I know, I know to the half pound. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> and that would be Katya, the diva princess. And you have what, three? three dogs? I, have, I have three. Katya is also six. She's a dachshund. And then uh, Sanders, who is staring at me from underneath the, the computer screen, he is 14. And wow. he is a reader dog as well. So do you remember the day that you got Murray? Oh, yes, I do. Tell um, me. Tell so, me about it. so I've always had two or three or four wiener dogs at the same time. Mm -hmm. And so I had just lost one and it, it had been about three months and I had kind of been looking for another dachshund and I saw what looked like a dachshund because they showed this. That looks like a dachshund, right? right. <laughs> so, and it, of course rescue. And so I went to PetSmart where this rescue was meeting um, to do the adoption and a person was holding him like that and I couldn't see his really long legs and I was there with a stroller with my 12 and my 15 year old dachshunds in the stroller and I of course when I saw him I immediately fell in love and then we went over to another part of the store to have individual meet and greet away from the crowd and they let him down and his legs were really long and it was too late I was already in love so because <laughs> I had never had a dog who is ball motivated and jumps really high before because you know that's not typical of dachshunds but right he's he's great he's perfect oh good good um does he do any uh tricks or have any quirks he yeah um he does a trick uh, and you know dachshunds are nothing but quirks as are humans um <laughs> so i have trained him to jump through a hula hoop you know, oh really high. yeah because when it's really rainy outside he needs some way to get his his energy out because right. he doesn't like to get wet and so for treats he'll do anything basically for treats mm -hmm. but the one thing he does consistently is jump through a hula hoop and pretty high i can hold it up two and a half feet and he'll jump through it wow i should t t teach one of my dogs to do that that's a good trick do you have hula hoops around i do have one yeah yeah uh, I think they're they're good training tools for I you know I've had I've had dachshunds for 36 years so I have all kinds of things to try to engage them none of them like rain and we live in the Pacific Northwest so right. have to have yeah they're kind of out of luck with that one <laughs> now, how how do you do it do you uh, like put do you start low and then just put the treat on the other uh, side and have them actually I, I start low and I hold my other hand on the other uh, side to encourage uh -huh. him to go through. Oh. And then raise it up. So it's like a, it's a, it's a trick for me too. I'm going to close, I'm going to close this door because she's going to keep barking. Okay. Conscious quirk is that if there's a butterfly or a bee or something anywhere in the universe flapping its wings, she will bark. Oh. <laughs> All right. So if, uh, if, if uh, Murray the dog could write a, would write a review about you as an owner, what would he say? Well, first of all, he'd say he's the owner. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, I am, I think he would give me four paws up. There are six ramps in my house up oh. to the furniture. Um, so nobody ever has to exert themselves to get onto sofa, love seat, or bed. They get fed four times a day, including at 5 a.m. Because my first dog set that, and they teach every, pre, every dog that comes after, so they get fed four times a day. Um, they get a walk, rain or shine, uh -huh. whether I'm here or not. And of course, in pandemic, I've been here a lot. Yeah. 
Uh, and I think they're exceptionally heavy. Murray it has abandonment issues. He was found roaming wild on a street in California. And, you know, who knows how long he had been out. So he's very attached to me. That's why he's the one who I can always put on camera because I know mm -hmm. he wants to sit in my lap for a while. Um, and so he's really happy about the pandemic and self-isolation. I know my, dog, never my dogs have been partying it up too. <laughs> So, all right. Well, sounds like you get a good review. So now we're going to, oh, look, I've been painting. I just thought I'd point that out. since. I'm oh, what have you been painting? Rocks. Rock. Rock. Just little rocks. Like... Oh, so the, the ones you leave around places? Mm -hmm. that kind of yeah. Thing? Oh, yeah. I have, I have four of those in my yard that people, I have a big yard and people come and leave. Oh, really? Oh, that's nice. It is um, nice. So we're going to switch over to talking about humans now. And uh, we're going to talk about heavy petting. And I always have to clarify here because like young people don't know that term. But back in our day, we used to refer to making out as heavy petting. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe not all the time we use that. But I, I, I only petted lightly, I think. Back yeah. In <laughs> <laughs> Nothing heavy, none of the heavy stuff. Uh, so do you have any stories along those lines that you could share with us? I have a lot of embarrassing relationship stories because I'm socially dysfunctional and didn't date much, but I will, I'll tell one of the most embarrassing, I guess. So when I was in high school, like in the 11th grade, I dated a guy and I'm going to use quotation marks because he was using me to get closer to my best friend but we actually dated and we petted and we you know we had um but the thing i remember the the highlight of that relationship was we had a, a night of just making out like crazy and it was like big for me and i mentioned to him how much i loved his he had shoulder length wheat colored hair and it was gorgeous and i just said God, your hair is just gorgeous. So the next day he showed up and he had shaved it all off. <laughs> That's how much my opinion mattered after a good night of making out. Wow. Ouch, that even hurt me, man. Like, ooh. <laughs> but the good news is somewhere in the middle of college, my my girlfriend that he was trying to get closer to, she and I were roommates in college, and he called to apologize to both of us. So, oh. you know, at least he had to. Uh, so, were you always attracted? Sorry, were you always attracted to guys with long hair? Um, I was attracted to anyone who would look at me for <laughs> more than a second. I, so, I was a debater, and on the slide rule team. <laughs> so, <laughs> not the kind of person a guy goes i want somebody who can do math and argue better than me that's not <laughs> what they're looking for typically so um yeah so i i really uh, i met my first husband when i was 17 and unfortunately we dated all through college so i really missed dating anyone else and then unfortunately we were married for 10 years <laughs> and but i have another funny story that has to do with the dog so in between my first and second divorce, um, I had a, a dachshund who did not like men. I don't know where he got that. <laughs> uh, and so I convinced this guy when he was coming over, because this dachshund was just really going to go for him, to put on a wig. <laughs> so it kind of goes back to the, do I like long-haired men? So maybe I do. <laughs> <laughs> maybe so. That's and I funny. always have wigs available. Do you, do you wear wigs? Uh, so I've done a lot of prop comedy. I teach improv and comedy camps. So I, I have drawers full of wigs and yeah. crazy things. Gotcha. Well, I, I know, know everything. I've never worn one myself regularly because it's too hot. Too hot. I know. I know. I thought about that. Um, so I know that, you know, comedy is not where it used to be. But <laughs> is there any, like if somebody wanted to find you, uh, how could they find you? So I do have a website, accidentalcomic, 
dot com. Okay. And it basically, so I, in my, in the past 26 years of my life, I've been both a stand up comic and a humorous motivational speaker slash corporate comic. So I would do both the humorous, the keynote presentations, facilitating breakout sessions, but also corporate comedy for evening functions. And so there are videotapes and things of me, of doing, of me doing those things there. And you can contact me through that website. And yeah, things are changing and we're having to adapt. And it looks like that adaptation is going to be sticking for a while. Mm -hmm. um, we've been doing things like I've been running match game every two weeks um, where I get my improv troupe to be our celebrities and that we dress up silly. And it, it's been really, really fun. It's not stand-up comedy in front of an audience and we're not, and it's not improv in front of an audience, but it does help people laugh and really that's why i got into comedy in the first place mm -hmm. yeah well good keep doing that and um i forgot to ask you a question okay back on the heavy petting so i'll probably okay. i may edit it and put it in its proper place sure. or i may just leave it like this i don't know but what is the best compliment anyone has ever given your naked body Ooh. um um, okay, so somebody told me I was glamorous. Ooh. And I have always, my dad raised me as a boy for three years, and I kind of have a, a masculine feel about my body, even though it doesn't look like that to other people. And for somebody to have called me glamorous really kind of struck me. And also because I'm very, very pale and you can, you know, you can see my blood coursing through my body. I've never thought of myself as glamorous, so that stuck. So that stuck. All right. That's one of the best compliments I've heard on this show, actually. Oh, well, so. my dogs always tell me I'm fluffy, and I take that <laughs> as a compliment. Of course it is. All right. Well, thank you very much for um, talking with me today. It was nice thank meeting you. Uh, meeting you and your dog. So I will see you out in the whatever it and is the stratosphere so yeah that's what i was gonna say but i wasn't sure if that was right so all right well i'm not sure it's right either all right thank you so much you have a good day what's on her mind she's a big big girl in a skinny woman's world now she's a big big girl in a skinny woman's world now she's a big big girl